watching Local 10, home of Local10.com and JustWeather.com. All right, JC, thank you. Well, more raids could be coming after more than a dozen alleged pain clinics from Miami-Dade to Palm Beach County were busted by federal agents yesterday. The raids were a result of a year-long investigation. And here's a startling statistic. According to state records, there are more pain clinics in Broward County than there are McDonald's restaurants. In fact, since January of last year, the State Department of Health has registered over 1,100 pill mills. But officials say the number could actually be much higher because some are masquerading as urgent care centers instead. And just like you, we wondered how they are able to stay open. So we decided to go out there and find out. Cocaine is no longer king in South Florida. Prescription narcotics now reign supreme, and they're coming from more than 300 pill mills across our state. Most clinics are owned by non-physicians. Some are chiropractors, some are businessmen, some are pharmacists, some are, I believe, organized crime. It's not black and white with everything, you know. This man, who asked to be known only as Michael, spent several years working in South Florida pill mills. I had this mentality that I liked being like the bad guy. And I liked, you know, the notion of being able to sell drugs legally. And that's pretty much what the whole thing was. It was also very lucrative. Michael says making $1,000 a week tax-free was easy. You know, the money was really good. You know, I got to make really good money really fast. All clinics that are scam clinics, that are pill mills, are taking cash only. They don't take credit cards, they don't take checks, they don't take insurance, they take cash. But cracking down on scam clinics is not so easy. First of all, addicts are not gonna complain about them. So if they don't have a complaint, nobody goes in and does anything. That's number one. If they do have a complaint, it takes about 18 months and sometimes even two years or three years to take care of this. Meanwhile, they're allowed to operate. Right now, more oxycodone is being written in the state of Florida than all the other states of the United States combined together. Michael, the former pain clinic employee, says the only paperwork patients were asked to sign were liability waivers, and for good reason. There's many times when I'm going to work and there was, we wouldn't see a patient that next month because he overdosed. After becoming addicted himself, Michael went through detox and now counsels other recovering addicts. Anything to, you know, give back because, you know, I've done a lot of, you know, shady things in my lifetime. And, and the Florida Department of Law Enforcement estimates that at least seven Floridians die each and every day from prescription drug overdoses. Really a changing face on what you consider the, the drug addicts yeah. out there because so many of these people, we, we interviewed somebody who was a, uh, had a sports injury and when his own doctor stopped giving him pain medication, he turned to one of these pill mills and that's where he got his fix. Yeah, and you wonder who's to blame here, the addicts themselves, the people running them, a little bit of everything. Well, and some of these medications are just so highly addictive and, that, and that's, that's a big problem because they say just it's not enough just to crack down on the pill mills, but you have to be able to help out some of these addicts yeah. because if they don't have the pill mills and these urgent care You're centers, right. they're going to turn to street drugs. Yeah. So they're going to find it some way. Eye-opening, especially here in South Florida. Yeah, okay, Christy, thank you very much.